This video walks through completing lab assignment 5.2.2.4, Troubleshooting Inner VLAN Routing, which is in Chapter 5, a part of the Routing and Switching Cisco Networking and Academy curriculum. Now, in this lab, we don't have the ability to go to check results. I mean, you can physically click on the button, but it's not going to give you a line-by-line -line assessment item like we normally get. Most troubleshooting labs in the Cisco Networking Academy are uh, like that. So, in this particular lab, uh, we have everything that is supposed to be set up up here in our uh, addressing table, but we don't know what they have and have not configured yet. So we do have to really use an array of show commands to really see what they have configured, what they configure incor incorrectly so that we can fix it. So we can start by checking some simple things. For instance, I always like to first check the IP addressing. That is typically something that can go wrong. So on PC1, we go to desktop and IP configuration and we see here that PC1 is 172.17.10.10.255.255.255.0 and it does have the correct default gateway of 172.17.10.1 so we're okay there. Let's check PC3. PC3 says 172.17.30.10 255.255.255.0 for the subnet mask, but the default gateway it lists is 172.17.10.1. That is not correct. That should be 30.1 based off of our addressing table over here and based off we know that the default gateway cannot be in a different subnet, right? So that was the first thing that we fixed there. And let me use the magnifier here just to zoom in a little bit. Okay, so our uh, default gateway right here is what should be fixed, 172.17.30.1, okay? So when we do that, we get 15 points, okay, on our way to 60. Now, next we should also check the uh, configuration on switch one. Let's go ahead and check that. a lot tab and let me zoom in again okay enable show run let's just do a simple show run command and see what we're working with here so we see that we've got interface FA06 configured to carry VLAN 30 switch port mode access let's see if that is actually what should be configured and it is okay fa011 we got right here switch port mode access vlan 10 okay that works let's see that over here now let's double check our G01. I know that says 11. Cisco keeps doing that. It should say 01, but I can't physically change the label even as the instructor. So it says that they're in switch port mode access. We know that should be in, that is incorrect. It should be switch port mode trunk. Okay. So we want to go in to configuration mode and do interface G01 switch port mode trunk okay and you see it start to renegotiate one thing you can also do here remember is do the switch port trunk allowed VLAN 1030 command to allow only those two VLANs to be carried it's not great in that but this is the one that's great in switch port mode trunk. Okay. Now we need to check uh, R1. Keep clicking that button. All right. So let's do a show run here. And our physical port is 01, so we want that to be turned on, no IP addressing. It does not say shut down, so we do know that it is turned on. However, we see that our 
sub-interfaces here. We've got interface G0 slash 1.10. We see that it's encapsulation 30. That's not right. It should be encapsulating for 10. And here on 0 slash 1.30, it should be encapsulating for the 30 VLAN. So we got those flip-flops. So we need to take those out and put it in there. The uh, IP addressing is correct, but we also notice here that we've got a shutdown. So we need to type in no shut on G0 uh, 1.10. Okay. So let's fix those two issues. So we go in here to config mode interface g01.10 and I'm just do no encapsulation dot 1q30 but I'm going to re-put in encapsulation dot 1q10 okay oh we got to clear it out of the other one first as well so let me go into that one because you can't have the same encapsulation on two different virtual interfaces or sub interfaces. So um, no encapsulation dot one q ten. And on this one on the 31, we do want to do encapsulation dot one q thirty. Okay. Can exit out of that one, then go back into G01.10. And we're going to do encapsulation dot one q ten. And remember, this one had the, the shutdown command issued, so we want to do no shut there to turn that one on. Okay, let me zoom out again. Okay, and that gives us 60 out of 60. All right, so the issues were the default gateway on PC3 needed to be changed to 30.1. G01 on switch 1 before we fixed it was right here in access mode but that needed to be in trunk mode so we issued the command to put it in switch port mode trunk for G01 and then on R1 when we did our show run command we saw that the interfaces sub interfaces were configured but they had the wrong dot uh, 1q encapsulation so we needed to change the 1.10 the 0 slash 1.10 sub interface to carry VLAN 10 traffic as well as issue the no shut command because somebody had issued shutdown and then 0 slash 1.30 needed to carry the 30 traffic instead of 10 so we issued the commands to do that alright and we got 60 out of 60